Good morning, this is Sean Woodell at Heavenly Soaps and Such. Today I'm going to be making homemade laundry detergent using lye. And I have already started, I have my stainless steel pot. Um, please check out the video of what happens when you don't use stainless steel. Um, I have a, another pot. I thought it was stainless steel. I really didn't give it a lot of thought, but I thought it was until I started using it and then I had a disaster. So lesson learned, um, make sure you use the stainless steel pot and even if you think it's stainless steel, make sure you check. So this is my pot. Um, I'm making a double batch. Um, this is six pounds of coconut oil. Um, I use this kind of coconut oil for, for this. I get this at Lowe's, uh, it's Butcher Boy, so um, check it out. I was buying mine from Soper's Choice, but I found that if I use the $20 off of a 100 coupon, that I can get it cheaper at Big Lots than I can at um, Soper's Choice. So, I have my, my lard, in, my, not lard, my coconut oil. I'm going to carefully, see if I can carefully, I've already got my burner on. I'm going to go ahead and melt this, and then I'm going to let it cool down um, a little bit, and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the lye water. Um, I have my scale here, and um, I have my, um, my lye, and the one I'm using is pota pota potassium hydroxide, excuse me, and that's the lye for liquid soap. So I have that ready, um, and the water that I'm going to be using, I'm going to need uh, 20 ounces of water, but I'm doing a double batch, so I'm going to need 40 ounces of water. I have my scale teared out. bit over so I'm gonna <clears throat> pull that back out um so 40 ounces okay then we can have that so that's two pounds and eight ounces which is 32 and is 40 all right so I've got my 40 on um, 40 there and then I'm going to measure out my lie that I need and I need 16.6 .6 twice now I'm gonna go ahead and just dump it in this is laundry detergent I'm not really worried about this too much but now I want to be as accurate as possible but I'm not worried about it a whole bunch but I need 16.6 .6, so I'm gonna go ahead and start dumping those in and I need that twice So it's going to be one pound and then 0.6 of an ounce. And I'm not there yet. Okay. There's 16.1. I need 0.6. 0.6. Point six. Actually, it's point 0.7, so I'll deduct that off the next one. So I'm going to tear it out so that I don't have to worry about measurements. And the next time, instead of the one, one pound and 0.6 ounces, I'm going to do one pound, 0.5 ounces. Tear it out. And to begin with, it's going to take a bunch, so... Almost to one pound. Okay, there's one pound, point one, and I need point five because I had to deduct from it. Point two, point 
And that's his 0.5. So I'm done with that. I'm going to go ahead and put that away. I'm going to uh, take a whisk and go ahead and make sure this is mixed up. You can hear it. And it has like a cloudy look and it will get really, really clear. And I'm just going to stick this in here, this extra water. And I'll bring you back when this cools down and the coconut oil cools down and I'm ready to start the, the process. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm going, um, I'm ready to go ahead and start. The coconut oil is melted and it, it's cooled down. It's still nice and warm, but it's, it's cool enough and the lye is um, nice and clear and it is, it's still nice and warm, but it's cooled down enough also. So, I'm going to go ahead and bring this to a trace. So I'm going to pour this in like this. And stir it. And I'm going to use the pitcher just to kind of keep my, my spoon in it so it's not resting on the stove. All right. Okay, I have my stick blender ready. Reach around you so I can get it. And I'm going to go ahead and start uh, blending this.
and this is on. Ooh. I'm going to, this is already emulsified, so it's mixed in real nicely. Um, I'm going to try not to tap that so it doesn't sound. I'm just going to stick that in there in case I need it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on. And I'm going to put it on um, low and make sure everything is away from the burner. I'm going to put it on low, heat it back up, and then this should start thickening back up. And when it um, starts getting a little thick, I will, I'm not going to do a paste. So I'm going to go ahead and add everything back in. And I am using for this recipe... I am using Martha Mays, M-A-I-S's recipe for liquid laundry and dish soap. And I'm changing it up a little bit though, just a little. Um, but I am using her recipe. And so when this thickens up, I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's, it's thickening up, but I am going to try to stick blend it together a little bit more. Um, I did turn it on low. You can see it's nice and creamy, like a kind of like an applesauce stage. I don't really have to do this from what I understand, but um, I'm going to do it anyway. of those oils if you can I'm not sure if you can really see there's a little bit of oil it's kind of separated into the applesauce type stage I don't want to pour my water in with that in there stop with it. Sorry about the beating, but I need to get most of it off. You can see it's nice and blended together. Remove this off of here for just a minute. Well, actually, I'll just cut it off. I'll turn it off for a minute. It did pop out some when I first had it. I wasn't paying attention. I had a phone call. I took that, and so it did pop out. As you can see, it's nice and thick together. Now, at this point, you could go on with the um the cook if you wanted to and oh that's popping or i'm splashing one of the two i should have gloves on i, I realized that um okay so this is the point where i'm going to go ahead and add my other stuff in i'm going to remove it from there just because I don't want I don't want to walk off from it and it start popping. That's really really pretty. And I'm going to put you kind of over here where you can see 
and this pot with the pot so high I'm having I've got my tripod all the way up so I'm having to lean it against it but that's some pretty paste there all right so I have this ready um and what I could do is I could just turn this off put the lid on it wrap it up in some towels and let it sit until tomorrow or the next day and the paste um, should be ready but I want to go ahead and make this so what I'm going to need to do is go ahead and measure my water out and I should have done that ahead of time but I haven't um, but I'm going to go ahead and measure out the water that I need Okay, I'm just going to use this pitcher that I've been using, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tear, um, I have my, make sure you can see me, I have my pitcher here in my scale, I've already teared it out to zero, I'm just going to carry it over to the sink, and add some water and then I'll run back over there and measure it. I know that I'm, I'm doing a double batch so I know I need 80 ounces of because I, I needed 60 ounces of water each but I've already used 20 for each so I need 40 more for each batch which will be 80 ounces. So let's get back over here put this back on okay and right now I have four pounds which is 40 is 64 so I don't have quite enough okay put it back on there now I have five pounds, which is 50, 60, 70, 80, 0. 0.5. So I have too much. Let's see if I can pour out five ounces. Uh, 1.5 ounces more, which is not much. Okay. And that's five pounds, 0. 0.8. So that, that's fine. I'm not going to worry about that 0.8 because I just really want to make sure that I have 80 ounces and with the 5 pounds is 80 ounces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lean you up again. See if I can lean it up without it. I'm going to give this a nice stir and then I'm going to go ahead and add my water in. Actually, before I add it in, I'm going to add in my borax and my salt into the water rather than add it into the, um, rather than add it into that. So, I'm going to try to bring you up here and make sure you can see. Alright, so here is my salt. It's one-fourth of a cup. It takes one-eighth of a cup for each batch. So, that's one-fourth. And this is my borax. And it's two thirds of a cup because it takes one third. So I'm going to go ahead and put in that. And I need to get out a baking soda. If I can do this one handedly, or with one hand. Okay, I'm going to need a little bit more. And it's not, um... ooh, wait a minute. That ain't what I needed. I don't need baking soda, so I'm glad I didn't dump that in. I need washing soda. So I'm going to go get that and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. Here's my two-thirds cup of washing soda. And I am going to just grab one of these spoons, mix this up, get all of it dissolved if I can without making a mess. Okay, so I added the salt, the washing soda, the borax, the water. Get it nice and stirred up. And 
the washing soda had some clumps. I probably should have Here. I'm going to move this back over. See, nice and creamy. That is just so pretty. All right. I'm going to go ahead and add in most of this, and then if I have a bunch of um, stuff in the bottom, I'll um, I'll try to smash it up. I'm going to turn it back on low, or a little bit more than low, but... And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and you can see it's almost like the paste is already, it's already paste. Um, and when I did that before, it didn't do that. Um, I think what I did before is I just brought it to emulsion and then I added everything else in. I didn't continue to cook it a little. But it's going to still work out. I mean, it's fine. It'll just have to kind of dissolve back down. All right, I'm going to go ahead and leave that on. I'm going to see if I can dissolve the rest of this, stir around the rest of the stuff. in. Use the spatula to make sure I have it all out. this and this should make about two and a half jugs of or at least two jugs of laundry detergent
turn it up a little because you want it to um, boil and you're going to leave it boiling for about an hour and then I'm just going to um, then I'm just going to um, wrap it up with some towels and let it sit overnight. So I'm going to um, I'm going to let this go for about 30 minutes and then maybe 40 once I get it to a bowl I'll let it go for 30 minutes and then I'll bring you back so that you can kind of see how it looks but for those of you that are used to making soap you can see the clumps I'm trying to get a big clump of, of soap um, paste it's kind of like soap paste and this does, it's not a no paste. Some people say no paste and I've even said it, but um, like one person pointed out, it, it's not really a no paste, it's just like a one step because you do it all in one step and it still has the paste. And the cooking is what's gonna force it on through the saponification process to get rid of, um, get rid of the lye, okay? so. I'm going to, whoop, I'm going to, I won't clean this off while you're, well, I'm going to bring you back. Um, like I said, I'm going to scrape this off, set the timer. By the time I finish this, it should be, it's getting pretty hot, so it should be starting to boil. You want to keep an eye on it because it will try to um, creep out of the pot. It'll try to boil and boil over. So I won't leave it. I'll be right here near it, and I'll keep my eyes on it. Um, steady keeping um, keep an eye on them how it's doing and I'm not going to cover it anything and then I will bring you back in, a, <clears throat> in about 30 minutes to show you show you how it looks and I'll go ahead and set the timer now so I don't forget okay I'll see you in 30 minutes okay I'm back a few minutes early um it's only been about 25 minutes I'm gonna go ahead and turn the timer off. I just want to kind of show you how it's trying to kind of creep out of the pot. Now I have been um, working on getting some things out of my soap room, my embroidery things, and putting them in another room. So as I kept coming by, I kept stirring it occasionally just to see how it was doing. And I have really, really watched it, but you see it's getting pretty high. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove it from the heat for a second. I'm gonna stir, stir, stir. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm having to kind of blow it, just like you would blow something that's about to boil over. I don't want to stop stirring it. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and turn my fan on, which is going to be a little loud. Get rid of some of the heat. Making sure I'm stirring the bottom so nothing's sticking. So that clumps of paste. So I apparently got it too hot. It wasn't coming to a boil fast enough, so I did turn it up a little bit. It's like four or five on my stove. Um, so. I'm going to turn it back down now that it's nice and hot. I'm going to get it down first. Now the one ingredient that I didn't um, add in the beginning is her recipe calls for alcohol. It's like rubbing alcohol. Uh, I think it's 91%. I'll have to check. But um, I don't, you don't have to use the 91%. It's just a, a lower percentage. It's not going to be as strong, but I will say this, when I added the alcohol up front before, I'm going to turn that off, 
when I added the alcohol um, with everything else to begin with, it just gave off some really strong fumes in the house. And I, once I realized it was putting off the fumes, it was kind of like they were all over the house and it was just strong. It gave me a headache. Um, so I definitely would recommend turning the fan on. And I don't know if I had the fan on the whole time. I can't remember. It's been a while. But um, you can see this is, I don't know if you can see or not. This is going back down. So it's cooling back off. Um, so I'm going to let it go down before I turn it, put it back on the heat. But anyway, so I did not add the alcohol up front. And they say the alcohol is good for cutting grease and things in your clothes. Um, and it does. So I am going to add some. I'm not going to add as much as she, um, her recipe called for. Which I think was 10 ounces, which a double recipe would be 20 ounces. So um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to add. I might add the 10 ounces just for a double batch. Just do 10 instead of 20. Um, or I might do 8 ounces. I'm not sure, but I'll, I'll let you know um, when I get to that point. But what I'm going to do is I don't want to add it in the whole cook. So what I figure I might do is just add it in maybe 15 minutes before I'm done cooking. And add it in, mix it together real good, and then let it cook for 15 more minutes. And then when I let it sit, um, just let it sit. And I'm going to, I will say this, the last time when I used the whole amount, and I think I used the entire amount she asked, that her recipe called for, it left a, an alcohol smell in the laundry detergent, which I didn't like. So, watch up, put back up, baby. The stove's hot. See, it's hot. Yes. Uh-huh. What do you need? Wait a minute. Mommy's forgot to finish this, okay? What do you need? I'm finishing them. You're finished eating them? Okay. Get up there and get your water off the bar. Um, but anyway, I don't want the alcohol smell. That's why I'm thinking I'm just going to cut down on some of the alcohol. Maybe try 10 ounces this time for a double batch. Just cut it in half and do 10 ounces. And then if I think that's still too strong, then I will... um even adjust it more and I may end up just leaving it out altogether. Um, I'll just, I'll kind of play it by ear and see. So her recipe also does call for meat tenderizer, which it says that the meat tenderizer like does something to the proteins and things that are on your skin. I mean, that on your clothes that you can get on your clothes, helps break them down. And she explains all that in her recipe, but I'm not adding the meat tenderizer. Um, Meat tenderizer is expensive, and I, you know, I just don't think, I don't think I need it. This coconut with this borax, and and you don't even have to do the borax and the washing soda. You can just do coconut coconut oil. Be careful. You can just do coconut oil laundry detergent. But I am doing that um just to kind of see. Now I may decide I don't like this anymore after a while. I don't know. I may decide to change it. But right now this is what I'm using. So you can see it's gone way back down in the pot. It was all the way up to here. And it's gone back down. So I'm going to put it back on the burner. And set it, um, set the clock for, the timer for another 30 minutes. I'm going to slide over. Alright, move it back over. I'm going to... This is a three ring burner. So I'm going to put it down on two rings. And I'm going to put it on four, on two rings. And we're going to see how that does. And I, like I said, I'm steady walking by it, keeping an eye on it. This is not something you want to put on and then come back in an hour. I mean, unless you're going to put it on really on low, low. And then um, not really have it boil. And then cook it longer. Maybe that would work. But, um, and you can see right now it's a creamy white. It's not going to be that color when it's done. It will be, um, it will be clear, should be clear. All right, so I'm going to clean the pot up a little bit since it boiled up. We'll try to get some of this off and put it down in the, in there so it won't stick all over the side. 
Now, and I will say this, that um, this does have a, this is not the plain coconut oil liquid soap that I have that I use like for spot cleaner and stuff. This is different. Yes, sir. This is my recording. It says what? It says my recording. No recording. Where at? Over there. Okay. It says my recording. All right. Yeah, I'll fix it in just a second. I'm going to finish this. All right, so I think I got most of that off the edge. Um, and I'm just going to leave. I've been leaving this spoon just like right here. And I will set the timer for 30 minutes. And I'll keep watching. And if I don't think I've got it high enough, I'll turn it up a little bit. But I, I think we're going to, I think it's going to be okay. All right, I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. Um, the 30 minutes um, ended, so that ended up being an hour, but it didn't boil the whole time, so I think that it probably was only cooking maybe um, 45 minutes. But I, I want you to see that now when, when I clear away a path, and you have to kind of look quickly, you can see the clear soap. I'm hoping, let me try to get my hand out of the way. I'm hoping you can see that. Let me see if I can, um, zoom in see the clear there you go i hope you can see it but anyway it's clear soap underneath the thick soap on top so we are um basically i could go ahead and and, and put this to rest if i wanted to but i do want to add the the alcohol so i have uh, measured out almost 10 ounces 10 ounces wouldn't fit in my little beaker my little glass thing so and I'm gonna turn the fan on because this is gonna give off some fumes I'm just gonna kind of stir it in and see it reacting and I guess maybe you could put it all in at once but but I'm not I just kind of usually put some and stir Like I said, that was almost 10 ounces. It was like 9.8, I think, or 7. Um, and what I'll do is I'll make a note of how much I used this time. And it made it, uh, it liquefied it more. To begin with, I was worried that maybe it was going to be too thick. But then I remembered that when I add the alcohol, it's going to make it um, thinner. So, and I can smell it. I'm going to leave the, I'm going to set this for 15 minutes just because I want the, the alcohol to have a chance to kind of mix in with it really well. Um, I don't want to just pour it in and then turn it off, which I probably could. And maybe I'll try that another time, but this time I'm not. I'm just going to stir it in. And all my clumps are gone, pretty much. They're not all gone, I just saw one. So you've got a couple little clumps as you can see those uh, they're not big clumps though so I shouldn't have to add any more water to this but I might but I'm gonna let it do for 15 more minutes and then I will show you what it looks like and then I'm gonna wrap it up and put it down try to clean all this off of here I don't want all that left on the spoon off a little bit just to push it down in there now the alcohol when I made it before but I put more but it made the um it made the soap more jelly not gel but it gave it a gel look um a little bit better consistency than normal coconut oil soap more of kind of like not like store-bought but something like maybe a um, shower gel or a hair gel. It kind of gelled it, but not that much. 
um, just a little bit. I'll show you, but I'm gonna bring you back in 15 minutes. Hey, um, I'm back again. I forgot to bring you back and show you the soap, and I've already um, brought it into the laundry room. I've wrapped it in a blanket, an old blanket that I have, and then I put some towels on the top of it. And I'm just leave it sitting right there and let it stay nice and warm until tomorrow. And then I'll bring you back tomorrow and let you see what it looks like. But um, most of it was clear with just a little film of, um, on the top of soap that wasn't uh, quite ready. But I'll bring you back um, tomorrow and let you see.